Hello, good afternoon. I'm discussing about uh, interview. An interview uh, is a qualitative resource meter used to collect primary data. It involves asking one or more people about their opinions on the topics. This method also allows researchers to obtain detailed information that might not be available to other resource methods. There are following types of interview methods, structure interview, on a structure, semi-structure interview. Structure interview have a predetermined question asked in the predetermined order. On structure interview are more free flowing. Semi-structure interview fall in between. Structure interview have predetermined questions in a set order. They are often close in date, featuring Dicotomous, asno, or multiple choice questions. While open ended structured interviews exist, they are most less common. The type of question asks make structured interviews a predominantly quantitative tool. Asking set of questions in a set order can help you patterns among response and it allows you easily compare response between the participants while keeping other factors constant. This can mitigate resource bias and lead to higher reliability and validity. However, structured interviews can be overly formal as well as limited in scope and flexibility. Structured interviews may be a good fit for your results, you feel very comfortable when your topic, this will help you formulate your questions most effectively. You have limited times or resource. Structured interviews are a bit might straight forward to analyze because of their close indeed nature and can be a doable undertaking for an individual. Your resource question depends on holding environmental conditions between participants constant. Semi-structured interview are a blend of structure and unstructured interview. While the interviewer has a general plan for what they want to ask, the questions do not have to flow a particular phrasing or order. Semi-structure interviews are often open indeed, allowing for flexibility, but flow of predetermined thematic framework, giving a sense of order. For this reason, they are often considered the best of both worlds. However, if the questions differ substantially between participants, it can be challenging to look for patterns, lessening the generalizability and validity of your results. Semi-structured interviews may be a good fit for <coughs> your results if you have a prior interview experience. It is easier than you think to accidentally ask a leading questions when coming up with questions on the fly. Overall, spontaneous questions are much more difficult than they may seem. Your research questions is exploratory in nature. The answers you receive can help guide your future research. On structure interview, is the most flexible type of interview. The questions and the order in which they are asked are not set. Instead, the interviews can proceed more spontaneously based on participant previous 
answers on instruction interview are by definition open in date this flexibility can help you gather detailed information on your topic while still allowing you to observe patterns between the participants however so much flexibility means that they can be very challenging to conduct properly you must be very careful not to ask leading questions as bias responses can lead to lower reliability or open even invalidate your research on structured interview may be a good fit for your research if you have solid background in your research topics and have conducted interviews before your research question is exploratory in nature and you are seeking descriptive data that will depend and contextualize your initial hypothesis your research necessitates forming a deeper connection with your participants encouraging them to feel comfortable revealing their true opinions and emotions it is a difficult interview or interviewed examines how you response to pressured situations case interview in it the interview interviewer presents the scenario and asks for solution applicant problem solving skills will be evaluated in this interview off site interview it is a casual interview where the interviewer and interviewee meet somewhere other than the interviewer's office the interviewers might invite the applicant to lunch such interviews are intended to evaluate your personality outside the office panel interview a uh, panel interview is commonly referred to as a broad interview in this kinds of interview the candidate is evaluated by many interviewers one on one interview an interviewee and interviewers meet one on one for a regular job interview mass interview the mass interview is a recent method that is rarely used it is a method for identifying leadership qualities the panel asks questions and then waits to see who takes the initiative and comes up with a solution phone interview some interviews are conducted fully online by employers it can be more reliable than an in person interviews for determining a candidate's diligence intelligence and communication skills advantage of interviews are the flying or the advantage of interviews deciding which candidates are best for your job also the interview opportunity evaluate candidate ability personality and uh, conversation detailed assessment interviews are another finest way to determine how much applicants know about the industry interviews are helpful for both candidates and employer it helps employer to evaluate his applicants abilities knowledge determine whether they are good for the company or not fantastic source of information in interviews are the primary source of achieving significant and trustworthy information it is beneficial for uh, because it offers valuable data can enhance decision making increasing knowledge interviews are excellent method to get the uh, know someone and interview can also discover more about themselves increasing stakeholder understanding extra information during the interview the interviewer can look for information that helps to shortlist the candidates it is important especially when numerous applicants have the same qualification uh, there are also some disadvantage of interview personal bias the interview process is not always present the candidate might make their evaluation is not being 
done fairly. Many interviews also involve some aspect for manipulation. So some people might not want to reveal most more personal information out of concern that it might be useful against them. Quick to judge interviews are frequently used to learn more about the candidates and their skills, but it takes a lot of time. This is are frequently taken in the first few minutes of the interview itself and remaining time is usually utilized to confirm or justify the original decision. This approach is not ineffective, but it may also be the more difficult to evaluate during the interviews. Developing stereotypes and interview will make assumptions about candidates' skills, aptitude, and personality based on how they respond to questions challenging to verify the truths. It is fantastic techniques to learn in depth details about <coughs> the topics. Uh, it's essential to keep the mind that all, uh, not all the what is to mention during the interview, actually correct or true several times the statements completely wrong. On predicted result, although interviews are not accurate as exams, they can still be useful in some situations. Disappointed applicants may be disappointed when the interviewer asks questions that are not related to the field because of this talented applicant might be rejected. Expensive, the interview process is typically costly. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for your question. Uh, that's it now. Bye-bye. See you again.